how do you see the relationship between human rights and climate change? The leader of the global trade union movement, Sharon Burroughs, once said, I have to be involved in the fight for climate change, even though I am primarily about working for workers' rights, mm -hmm. because there are no jobs on a dead planet. Climate change today constitutes the biggest threat to human rights that we've ever faced before because it threatens the very existence of human beings on this planet in the future. How do you think that grassroots movements can contribute to tackling climate change? The most important movements that are going to win the struggle of climate change are going to be grassroots movements like yourself. We are on the ground in communities able to mobilize people who live in localities to take peaceful action for resisting the inability of our governments and business leaders to look at the science and understand that we are running out of time with the high school climate strike that the kids are doing. Right. I mean, that for me has been the most inspirational thing that we have seen right now. You should feel proud that you all are part of that kind of young people, uh, you know, contributing to your future. And please resist this idea that young people are the leaders of tomorrow. If young people wait for tomorrow, there's not going to be a tomorrow for young people to lead. Right, so we're the leaders of today. Yeah. So how would you encourage young people to take action? We need to appeal to the older generation. When the IPCC says we've got 12 years left, we should be shaking in our boots and getting like super serious. Making sure that we are getting as many people enrolled, signed on, and understanding the issues and being engaged, that takes hard work, right? And But that hard work is also fun work. Mm -hmm. You know, some of my best friends today, those friendships started when I was a 15, 16 year old activist mm -hmm. because, you know, those friendships forged in struggle for justice yeah. have such deeper meaning. I would appeal, though, to young people who are considering strong activism to desist from any form of violence. If just one out of hundred throws one stone, that becomes a story, not the reason why we were there in the first place. So intensify um, resistance and, and challenge my generation of activists to do better than we are doing, because we need to do better than we are doing.